Hey beautiful and welcome! Today we're gonna talk about how to change your specific person. How to actually change your specific person in the way that you want them to. So in the way that you want your specific person to show up for you in your reality. Because you know that you can get exactly what you want and you know that you can manifest the exact version of your specific person that you want. The one that you see in your dreams, the one that you see when you close your eyes. And now what we want to do is we want to get this process for how to actually get that version of your specific person in your 3D reality as well. Because you already see it in your imagination and now you're wondering how can you make them change in your physical reality as well? So how can you make them show up differently? The first step to changing your specific person so that you get the version of them that you want to see. So I'm just gonna say that this process works no matter if you're in contact with them, if you're already in a relationship with them, maybe you see them every day in school, in university, at work or there's no contact at all. This process is still gonna work because maybe if your specific person ended up leaving you or there was the breakup and now you want them back, but obviously you don't want the same version. You don't want the same old, same old anymore. You want the new version of them, the one that actually shows up for you the way that you want them to. So the first step to do this is to know what do you actually want? What do you want to see? How would that look like if your specific person showed up in your reality the exact way you wanted them to? What do you want? If you could have anything, if you could close your eyes and dream big and you knew that when you, when you say that this is what you want, you will get it. And that's exactly what you will get then what do you actually want? Because so many people, they don't even know exactly what they want. They just think that they want better or, uh, you know, like if they only gave me more love, if they only gave me more attention, what is it that you actually want? So create the version of your ideal specific person in your mind and put it on paper. You can just put in bullet points. Okay, this is what I want. I want him or her to show me more love. I want them to communicate better with me. I want them to be respectful. And you can even turn this around and ask yourself, how do you want to feel when you're with your specific person? So maybe you want to feel respected, you wanna feel adored, you wanna feel cherished, you want to feel wanted, you wanna feel valued, you wanna feel good enough for them. You want to feel like they're prioritizing you. You want to feel like they're always there for you. They're always having your back. Whatever it is that you want, then put that on paper and see it in your mind. Okay, this is the ideal version of my specific person. This is how I want him or her to show up for me. This is the kind of treatment I want from them. This is how I want them to show up. This is how I want them to act towards me. This is how I want them to behave. Hello, hello. Yes, Paulina is live. And I'm also gonna put this on YouTube as a recording later. Today we're talking about how to change your specific person and how to actually get what you want from your specific person. How to make them change. How to make them change in the way that you want them to, <laughs> without having the talk, without, you know, telling them like, hey, this is what I expect. This is not saying that it's wrong. Sometimes you might want to tell your expectations to them and kind of like say like, hey, these are my, my standards. These are my boundaries. But often when you place this, you just put them on paper. You just see that version of your specific person already in your mind. You don't even have to communicate that to them. They will kind of like sense it and that's just gonna become a standard for how they're showing up. So first of all, step one was know what you actually want. Now we're getting into step two. Step two is get out of the old story. You need to get out of your own mind. Your ego mind is just creating a lot of mind fuckery and it's actually like it's a lot of lies. It's a, no a lot of nonsense and they're not helping. <laughs> They're actually not helping you manifest anything you want. So get out of your ego mind, get out of those stories 
because you can't be you can't create your ideal version of your specific person and see them show up in your reality that way that you want them to and at the same time still think in your mind about what's going on what's happening today like why are he, why is he treating me this way why is he behaving like this why is he acting like this towards me like what did i do wrong what did i say wrong no you can't create something new and still hold on to the old story. You have to let the old story go. So, because the old story is just gonna keep you stuck in the same old, same old reality, okay? So stop focusing on the story, get out of the story and stop focusing on what's currently happening. It's most likely not gonna happen overnight, especially if you have him in your life right now and there's communication, maybe you're seeing him every day or just like once a week or whatever, then this is probably not going to happen overnight. It's going to be a process, but he is going to change. You're going to get exactly the kind of treatment you want from him. You're going to make him change through doing this process, but I just want to tell you that it's probably not going to happen overnight. So just keep that in mind, but stop focusing on the current reality. Let the current reality play out, let the old story play out, but we're not doing that anymore. We're not entertaining the old story in our mind anymore. Get out of your mind, so stop labeling all of the things that you see. Whatever you see in your reality today, whatever you see, like however you see him showing up for you, treating you, acting, don't label it. Just be like, you know, it is what it is, that's it. No labels, no judgments. Okay, so if he is hot and cold, if he is ghosting you, if he blocks you and then he unblocks you, um, maybe you notice that there's less communication and he doesn't plan dates with you and stuff like that. It is what it is. Stop judging it. Stop labeling it. The third step is to trust that it's all unfolding and trust that you will get what you want. Trust that it's all changing now. It's all changing now because now you finally change yourself. So that's why it's changing. And so the more you just reinforce this new belief, the more you just like reinforce this new story, the more you reinforce this new mental image that you have of him in your mind of how he is now, how you want him to be, this ideal version of him, right? Uh, the, and the more like you you can just see everything that he does and all of the behaviors that he's doing and the actions that he's doing you can just see them as a sign that things are moving in the right direction so just tell yourself every time like no matter what he's doing even if he's acting cold even if he's blocking you out of the blue even if there's less communication why don't make it mean that you're getting so much closer to what you want that you're getting so much closer to finally getting the exact version of your specific person that you've always wanted. Why the fuck not? Because you, in every situation, you have the choice. If you're not in your mind fuckery, you really have the choice to always choose. How do you want to see those things? How do you want to perceive those things? How do you want to like, what is the meaning that you want to make those behaviors and those actions, how he's treating you, how he's showing up in your reality? What's the meaning you want to give it? Please let me know if this is landing and also let me know if there's a clicking sound because I don't know why yesterday when I uploaded the video on YouTube, there was like suddenly a clicking sound and it's a little bit annoying. So if somebody can hear a clicking sound right now, tell me. Because there's not supposed to be anything else but my voice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the stand where the phone is on. And so even if you see something different for now than what you see in your imagination, you see him show up in a different way. Maybe you see him show up in the opposite way of what you want. Thank you so much for confirming me, Kayla. If you see the opposite of what you want, he's showing up in the opposite way for you. And you're like, this is not the ideal version that I created of him. Like, what's going on? Then make it mean that this is just a stepping stone to getting what you want. And the less you can pay attention to that, the less attention and the less focus, the less you like focus on his behaviors and his actions that are not what you want, the sooner they're going to shift. 
But what most people do is when there's a behavior or action that they don't want to see, they start focusing on it more and more and they start like going into the fixing mentality. They're like, okay, how can I fix it? How can I make him change now? How can I make him show up in a different way? And it often doesn't work that way because the more you focus on the things that you don't want to see, the more you focus on him showing up in the way that you don't want, right? The more you're going to see that happening more and more. And if you don't want to see that happening more and more, because that's exactly the treatment and behavior you don't want to see, then we need to not give it any fucks. So even if you see it in your reality, you're going to like shift your awareness to something else. You're going to remove your focus or then you're just going to remove your, yourself from that space. Okay. Like physically removing yourself from that situation or from that room. And also don't try to make them change, right? Don't try to make your specific person change by um, having the talk with them, by asking them like, what's going on? Why are they behaving this way? And why are they showing up like this? Why are they doing these actions? Because the long lasting change in them that you actually want is not going to come from that. It's not going to come from having the talk with them. It's really going to come from you building that confidence and that certainty within yourself as a powerful creator of your reality that you can have what you want and just building that certainty that it's done. Once you have it clear on paper or in your mind, this is the ideal version of him, just trust that it's done and trust that it's working out and trust that you will get exactly that. So it's kind of like when you're interacting with him, remove those glasses that are looking at him and looking at how he's showing up and looking at his behaviors and his actions through the lens of, is he shifting now? Are things working out? Are things shifting? Is he showing up differently, right? Remove those glasses and instead just see everything as neutral and see everything as things are shifting. Things are moving in the right direction. I get exactly what I want, okay? Make that meaning about everything that you see. I know it takes some personal power uh, and mental discipline, but the more you can do this, the better you will become at it and the faster you will get the things that you want. The faster you will see the change within him, okay? Is this landing? Is this all making sense? I see no comments right now. And really also knowing that it's your job to feel good. It's your job to feel satisfied. And if you don't feel good about yourself right now, if you don't feel satisfied and yeah, if you just don't feel happy within, then, and you, you kind of notice that you're seeking that satisfaction, you're seeking that happiness, you're seeking that good feeling emotion from him. Then we want to fill up our own cup first and then show up for him and interact with him from a full cup, not from an empty cup or from a half empty cup, because that's what most people do. And that's like shifting everything in the relationship anyways, shifting that dynamic. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Catherine. <clears throat> so it's your job to feel good. It's not his. It's not your specific person's job to make you feel good. It's not your specific person's job to make you feel anything. In fact, if you allow other people to make you feel a certain way. So if you allow how other people treat you, how other people show up for you, other people's behaviors and actions, make something, make you feel something, make you feel like shit, frustrated, angry, bitter, resentful, or even in positive emotions, you're giving your power away. You're giving your power away to another person. And then you need to ask yourself, if you notice that this is the thing that is going on, you need to ask yourself, is this actually the kind of life you want to live? Where your happiness is in this other person's hands. Where your sense of feeling satisfied in life is in this specific person's hands. And you're the puppet. And then the, uh, the fourth, I think it's the fourth step, yeah. <laughs> the fourth step of changing how he shows up in your reality is to focus on what you want. You really need to 
be mentally strong and disciplined to focus more and more on what you want to see and to only enter the, entertain that in your mind. Of course, sometimes there might be a little bit doubts and fears and worries, but when you notice those creeping in, it's really your job to process them, to look at them, sit with them, process them, and then continue focusing on what you want to see. And if that means that you need to be imagining every day, go into your imagination, visualize your ideal version of, of your specific person, then that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do for a few weeks, right? Or if you want to do journaling, if that means that bringing in that certainty, that confidence in your body that you can have what you want and that you will get exactly that ideal version of your specific person, then that's what you need to do. Do whatever you need to do to just keep your focus on what you want and to feel good in the process. And just feel it real in your body. And also, I want you like, even if this is a four-step process, I don't want you to go into this process of thinking that this is a chore, of thinking that this is something that you're crossing off your to-do list every day. This is so supposed to feel like a fun, easygoing process. It's not supposed to feel like hard work. Manifestation is supposed to feel natural. So also manifesting your ideal version of your specific person, the one that you want to see where he shows up for you and you feel loved, valued, cherished, prioritized, all of these things. It's supposed to feel like a fun game that you play rather than something that you're just crossing off your to-do list on a daily basis. Like, okay, now I did this. Okay, now I did this. No, no, no. It's something that is supposed to feel natural. And if it doesn't feel natural right now, it's going to become a part of who you are. It's just going to become a lifestyle. It's kind of like manifestation is a lifestyle anyways. It's like a way of living, if that makes sense. So I want you to don't do this. Don't do this process. Don't do these steps for the reason of trying to manifest him and manifest that version of him that you want. Because if you <laughs> go into this process, it's a little bit backwards, but if you go into this process of trying to change him, then it's, it often backfires. It often doesn't work because when you get into a process and you're going into it with the intention to make something happen, to make something change and shift, then you're still keeping that old reality alive. You're still keeping that old story alive where you don't have what you want because it often feels like lack. It often feels like, let me make this thing happen. Let me do these things on a daily basis uh, to shift something, to make this thing happen because I don't have it yet, because it's lacking, because it's missing. And so we want to clean that up first, okay? And the way to speed all of this up, if you want it faster, if you just want to speed the things up, because this is a question I often get, it's like, how can I just speed everything up? Is to become more certain. Within, and it's something that is an internal job. You have to build that confidence, that certainty within yourself. It comes from within. Be more certain in your power that you can actually create what you want and that when you have an intention, when you see something in your mind, that you can get it. And also just whatever you need to do to have that conviction, that certainty that it's going to happen, that no matter what, what it looks like right now, no matter how your specific person is showing up today in your reality, or even if there's no contact right now, or there's like less communication and hot and cold and whatever, just have that conviction that it's going to change now, that it's all changing now because you're changing yourself and you're changing your focus, right? And then another, like the last part to speeding things up is really just changing your beliefs. <laughs> changing your self-concept, changing your beliefs, which is also, if you have a good self-concept, this whole process that I was just discussing is just going to be easier anyways. It's going to be an easier process to do and it's going to feel like you have more confidence, you have more certainty, right? But anyone can do this, even if you're completely new to manifestation, even if you're a beginner, you can still do this. And if you're more advanced, then 
why not? Like, if you're more advanced in manifestation, you already have evidence and proof in your own life from your own experiences that manifestation works for you. Then why not just cultivate that confidence and that certainty within yourself as a powerful creator from those past experiences? So you're going to look at what you have manifested already into your life consciously and be like, wow, I manifested this, 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 and bringing that certainty and that sense of confidence from there, right? I hope that this all resonated. I hope that this all made sense. And if you want help with this and you want help with changing how your specific person shows up for you in your reality so that you can get the exact treatment that you want from him and feel chosen, valued, adored, cherished, and loved every single day, then I invite you to join the three-week program Manifest Your Specific Person Within 21 Days. The program that will not only help you manifest your specific person back into your arms, but also control how he shows up for you so that you can get the exact treatment that you want from him.